What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Let's Play Diablo 3 with our hardcore Witch Doctor playthrough. We just returned to Bastion's Keep Stronghold to go ahead and sell our items, obviously repair all of our weapons, and I did go ahead and I purchased myself, or better yet, I constructed myself a new shield, I got a new amulet, and I believe I went ahead and I combined a lot of my gems into getting some more powerful uh, intelligence gems. And I obviously switched out a few other things. Let's return to the Fields of Slaughter. And then eventually we are going to make our way to destroy the Trebuchet and the Demonic Ballista. We've already destroyed one of three. And of course you can see its remains right over here. Now, like I said in the last episode, we now have exploding zombie dogs for the masses which basically will ignite all four of our zombie dogs and cause them to explode. And you would be surprised with the amount of damage it actually does. It pretty much can destroy any elite uh, in just one click of a button. It's pretty much just a deletion button. So here we are. <laughs> and he has 75% health and now he's at a raving drunk who claimed he had wrestled with a succubus, a demonic creature that possesses the form and face of a beautiful woman. He said she cursed him and tore out the heart of his friend before he made a narrow escape. Really, young men are given to such exaggeration these days. Okay, so once again we are still looking for more demonic ballistas and a trebuchet. I'm guessing they're all going to be around these areas. Okay, here is a... either a boss or a trebuchet. That was, uh, freaking dangerous. <laughs> Which doctors do? It needs more time. Trebuchet device looks like it's gonna go down. And it has been melted away. So we're looking for two more ballista. I'm guessing they're probably gonna be here and here. Is there anything down here in the pits? Not that we can see. Let's explode all of our dog. Oh, that we don't have any. Let's explode all of them. There they all go. Sadly enough, this is a 45 second cooldown. I'm guessing there's gonna be. Ah, here is a guard of the keep. Leave me. It is too late. Take this. I have no use for it anymore. Well, I don't either. <laughs> I guess I can sell it. Here, of course, is another ballista. It does go down fairly quickly. I want my zombie dogs back, but the cooldown is still long. And we're looking for one more ballista, and then our Machines of War objective is complete. I'm very surprised that the fort itself is holding. Um, <laughs> it's kind of exciting, too. Though I'm guessing it is still being ransacked and uh, savaged as we speak. Here's our final ballista. And there it goes. Massacre's bow. My siege weapon is to slay you. You stand in the middle of the army of hell. It will crush you. You could not defeat me on the walls of your keep. And your siege weapons now lie in ruins. I come for you, Asmodan. Look out! They've been circling for hours. Now, it says they're winged mollusks, but it, I feel like they're more along the lines of gargoyle type of creatures. Uh oh. Colossal Golgor, though, it's not as strong as it is. 
Okay, so now we're gonna try to find Rockus Crossing, which I'm guessing is right up here. Here's Cereal. I will have you delivered into the Circle of Wrath with great haste. The enemy is strong, but she cannot pass the Demon Gate. Secure it, or your lives will be forfeit. Monstrous creature. Okay, making our way to Tyrael. And I also forgot to mention that our Templar now has a better shield, a better, um, you know, relic, and a better amulet. So that means he has a lot more vitality, meaning more health. Just sit idly by while you brought the fight to Asmodan. It has been too long since I felt the thrill of battle myself. Destroying my siege weapons makes little difference. Every hour, more of my forces pour forth from the mouth of hell. Soon. They will wipe your pathetic cheek from existence. Brave words, Asmodan. But words are all you have left to hurl at us. Forward, friend. Find the demon gate at the edge of the abyss. It's funny because I remember this area as well. Help me! That's kind of cool. I can't move! <laughs> Material is now falling. Someone said help, but I don't know where it came from. And surprisingly enough, we are almost level 43. Gaining even more intelligence, more vitality, more damage. Now it looks like we've already found the arrow, so it can't <laughs> My voice cracked. It can't really be all that much fun. Corpses after corpses. I'm guessing this is a spot for an ambush. Captain Hale. Why are you out here alone? All of my lads are dead. And I mean to see these bastards suffer for what they've done. Are you with me? Here they are! Charge! New event. Defeat the demon attack for 35 seconds. <laughs> Well, I can certainly do that. Well, the ones in the skies have finally graced us with their presence. Cut them down! Those flames have come up from behind. Bloody adorable! They're trying to ambush us! Five more seconds remaining. And here we are. Quest completed. You'd expect her. Ah, here's the boss. Exploding all of our dogs. <laughs> and securing ourselves an amulet and a square diamond. Well, they're all dead and we are not. I'd call that a win, eh? I'll hold this bridge. Go on. You have a demon lord's head to put on a pike. It was an honor. Twenty-two thousand XP and forty-two hundred gold. Looks like a blaze of glory. Complete the blaze of glory event. Well, that wasn't too hard. Let's get the enlightened shrine. Twenty-five percent additional experience. Like I said, we are almost level forty-three. So we're gonna get more intelligence, meaning more damage and more health. There it is. Three intelligence, two vitality, so I believe that's about 3% more damage, or 30%. Code of Fusion. Might as well try that out. And Mass Hysteria. 
once we are out of combat, Justice looking at our skills. Plague of Toads. And then... Huh. It said Toad of Hugeness. I could have swore it said Toad of Hugeness. Maybe I misread that. Here it is. Summon a giant toad that swallows enemies whole. I obviously want my zombie dogs. I need more time. That's pretty cool though. Ah, uh, it is a 15 second cooldown. And obviously our zombie dogs are far superior and we gotta wait. We also have better zombie chargers. Summon an explosive zombie dog that streaks towards the enemy before exploding in a fiery blast. Not bad. It does take a lot of mana. We want our zombie dogs, burning dogs. Uh, Grass of the Dead, Poison Dart, Sacrifice, Zombie Charger needs to go to Wall of Death. And I guess we're going to keep Surrounded by Death because it does damage. And everything is good to go. We have another quest up here. Private James. I'm just a scout. I was supposed to survey the battlefield from this tower along with my lieutenant. But we were attacked. I still have a spyglass here. Please, take it to my lieutenant. I don't know how long he'll be able to hold out up there. Okay, slaying the monsters, attacking the tower. Hmm. Crazy Climber. Sacrificing all of our dogs, which we didn't actually have. What happened to the scout? Is he still alive? He stands with one foot in the unformed land. You must go on alone. I see. Thank you for the news. I will tell his family. And experience Look and out. gold. Uh oh. This is monstrous. He was little more than a boy. He just died. That's sad. <laughs> like, this is so dark and so ominous. Eventually, we're going to have our infernal dogs once again. Here they are. 45 second cooldown has begun ticking, so that is nice. Maybe it won't seem as long by the time we encounter another boss. Very big bridge. And you can see that it goes down in two minutes. Man, this is probably the time. best ability I have. Summon zombie dogs. Still have four zombie dogs. Obviously, our gargantuan. Here's a door. Bridge stores. This looks like a secret. Well, we have a merchant. I hope he sells good items. He probably does not. Not bad. Mm, but nothing exciting. Yep, that was dumb. Well, we could sell everything we have, make some money. And I think we're gonna keep the ruby. Well, we got a lot of these as this. Let's sell everything we have. They are worth a lot. And now we don't need to go back. I wish we could have repaired, though. Here's a chest. Ah, a few chests. We 
know, I wonder how many hidden doors there actually are. Oh, wow. Only about... This is a pretty big zone. I guess it continues to go. Well, here we are. We have a uh, brand new waypoint. So supposedly we could warp to all these different areas. I'm still wondering what we did not explore down in the south. And like I said, I do want to grab a new weapon sometime soon. We're almost level 40, well we did get to 43, almost level 44. And the weapon we've had, we've had it for a very long time. Level 31, so 12 levels behind. Maybe getting a dagger or something like that. Here's another door, but we can't get inside. I'm guessing uh, if we ever came back, that door would open. Smoldering armor rack, getting some treads. And before I go inside, might as well check around. Who knows, I could find a resplendent chest, but I highly doubt it. Flaming debris, another chest. It's not resplendent though. Salubrious stabilizers of fortitude. I wonder. Um, nothing of use. Though, this is a very nice square topaz. Absolutely gonna keep that. Edge of the Abyss. Eldruin will destroy the demonic seal protecting this gate. Now, we've seen a lot of these, so this isn't really a boss. We've seen a lot of these sequels. And then let's do, kill all of our zombie dogs in one house. They didn't really get on a thing. I don't know why zombie dogs are so scary. Okay, well, it looks like we got a reward. And. Leah has had another vision. A vision of twisted demonic towers and enormous hearts beating within them. I know of them. They are the Sin Hearts. Asmodan must have dredged them up from the depths of his realm to empower his legions. They ah, I wonder, can I grab that back? I guess not. Once again, uh, we don't need to go into Rackus Crossing. Is there anything else to explore? Not that I can see. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Anything down here we can explore? Battle Probably not, here. because obviously we defeated this the boss. Is where we truly belong. Maybe it seems to keep going. So many sacrificed. We must honor them by pushing forward. It's kind of sad that uh, all four of those zombie dogs really didn't do all that much damage to the Siege Breaker. But I mean, don't get me wrong, I guess that's what I should have expected all along. The Demon Gate is no more. Though Asmodan has brought hell itself through it, now I must destroy these Sin Hearts so that his armies will falter. Then. Only Asmodan will remain. Okay. You killed one of my playthings. Now, 
You have my undivided attention. I don't like the sound of this demon. The tormented stingers may resemble giant scorpions, but in truth, they are molded from the bodies of human sacrifices. Oh my god. The demons twist their victims into the stingers' distinctive forms by slicing open their chests and viciously mutilating their legs. Maddened by pain, these creatures can poison their prey with a single strike. Like we have quite a few crawlers. A pool of reflection is absolutely gonna take that. Now I'm wondering, do these demon summoners continually spawn uh, units? I hope not. Otherwise, if they do, this could get a little bit, uh, you know, dangerous. Okay, so go through the area crater and find the Tower of the Dead. I need more time. We found a chest. Still looking for the Tower of the Dead. Pile of bones. And enemies everywhere. Is there going to be a chest over here? Doesn't look like it. I don't know why it would make us go this way. I guess for, uh, you know, nothing more than aesthetic value. Got some new inventory, though nothing of importance. I know I say this all the time, but these graphics are absolutely amazing for a game that came out almost six or seven years ago. You know, it really does feel very immersive. I feel obviously fantastic playing in any book game. The spirits aid me. Now I wonder, where are we going to find this tower of the I'm guessing if we continue to push through, we'll eventually make our way through. Don't see any bosses. Nothing that we necessarily need to, uh, you know, use our exploding zombie dogs on. And I am enjoying my new legendaries. Here we are. Let's use all of our zombie dogs at once. Taking you down to about 40%, 30%. A lot of these units aren't taking as much damage as they used to. So it makes me wonder, uh, either everybody's getting stronger, or I certainly haven't necessarily been uh, growing as much as I should have. Okay, 125 vitality with this ring. Though, it looks like the ring... Ah, uh, this is intelligence, not vitality. Let's swoop you over to the Templar. Put you here. And give you... A little bit extra strength. It's not great, but we don't really have the vitality available just yet. Nephilim, your misbegotten kind is crazy. 
I, <laughs> I wish, uh, you know, don't get me wrong, like, every time a cutscene comes up, I, you know, you have the option to exit out of it. I wish I didn't. And you can't ever listen to him again. <laughs> 39 kills. And technically, we're almost at level 44. Ah, here is the end. The Tower of the Damned, level 1. Well, I think I am going to go ahead and end this episode here. Thank you all so much for joining me. Hope you all have an awesome day. And I will see you in our next adventure.